Hi everyone, it's Laura again from Bellissima Weddings and today I thought I'd talk to you about wedding dresses and what you can do with them. Now we all know that you can look on a website and see the most beautiful wedding dress and think, yep, that's absolutely perfect, that's for me. It's got all the bits in the right place. I like the front, I like the back, I like the waistline, I don't need to change anything. But then we do see in Bellissima quite a few girls that will come in and they'll look at a dress and say, oh, I really love that bit, but I'm not sure about this bit, or I wish it had a belt, or I wish it had something, or that dress is too plain, or that dress is too fancy. So I thought I'd show you what you can actually do with a fairly basic shape dress. And this is a beautiful dress. This is by White and Lace by Milanova, and it retails at just over a thousand pounds. So we've got a really beautiful, simple, it's lovely because it's got the little sparkly fabric, um, but you could also do this with a completely plain dress. So we've, we've got the sparkly version, but could also be completely plain. Lovely, smooth, clean lines and beautiful as it is. You could just put this dress on, go off and get married and you'd look absolutely stunning. But you can also do a million and one other things to something like this to personalise it and make it your own. And I'm going to show you a few things just so that you get a bit of an idea and give you a little bit of inspiration as to what you can do with a simple clean cut dress. The first thing you can do is look at the dress and think, OK, so I have a seam here. Perhaps you don't like the seam. This will translate into just about any wedding dress that has a seam around the middle. If you're not happy with that seam being exposed, you could consider covering it with either an applique or a belt. Now I've chosen this applique, it's by Essence of Australia. It's not overly blingy, it hasn't got any silver in, and it blends perfectly into, thank you for my very glamorous model, Amelia here, sorry. <laughs> it blends perfectly into the dress. I'm just gonna pin that there. This would be sewn on by a seamstress. And you can see straight away transforms that look. It's now accenting, ac oh, can't speak today, accenting more her waist, takes that seam line away, but it's still in keeping with the dress and looks absolutely beautiful. So with something like this, you could then sort of go with the flow. And as you're ac um, adding different accessories into this, you could think of maybe adding something a little bit pearly. Now, you wouldn't normally, with a blingy dress, think about adding in pearls. But now I've done this little bit round the middle, it suddenly changes the whole theme and we can start to run with that. So I'm going to show you now a few other things added in with that belt to really transform the dress. I've put some earrings with this now and you can see how lovely that look looks. Amelia's got her hair tied back, that's ideal for long dangly earrings. That's another little tip and I know today I've got the long dangly earrings on and the long hair but I'm just here at work and not really, I know you're, I'm also being filmed, but normally if you're looking at what really goes nicely for a photograph or for a look and a really put together look, consider the fact that when you've got your hair back the longer the earring. When you've got your hair down, the smaller the earring, because as you can see, hair and earrings do tend to fight, and sometimes they can look a little bit messy. And if you want to look photo perfect all the way through your day, that's a little top tip from me. Consider longer earring, hair back, smaller earring, hair down, and then you won't get that messy look. But anyway, back to the dress. As you can see, we've put this little pearl and gold um, earring on here, which are really lovely. These are great, actually, they're from Poria, and you can take the dangly bit off. So you could just have the pearls as well. So great for afterwards, for after the wedding, you would get some use out of those. They're not just a wedding earring. But look how lovely that goes. It's sort of added into the whole glamorous look with the little pearly belt, and now we've got that. And even though we've got the sparkly dress, it's all coming together lovely. So now I'm going to add in something else again. I've got a headpiece to put on Amelia. Now the minute I do this, you're going to see why I now need to take something off because we're adding too much into the dress and going off onto a different theme. Now this beautiful dress would go beautifully with something like this with the little leaves. But as you can see now, we've gone a little bit over the top. We need to lose something of this combination because otherwise now we're starting to gild the lily. So on something like this, if I had a headpiece, I'd lose the earrings. So I'm gonna take those off. So as you can see, that looks a lot better with the earrings off. All we need is a little stud earring with this. What we're trying to do is draw attention to the bride, the dress, and the accessories that she has. And the more that she has all in one go, starts to look a little bit messy. 
So as you can see, we've now gone for this look. Now I'm going to do something else. I'm gonna take this belt off and add a veil and you'll see why when I do it. Okay, so I've added a veil. Now, as you can see, if we'd had the earrings and the belt, that would have been way too much because now the focus is on the dress and the veil. And another little tip is if you've got a dress that's quite particular, like this fabric is quite particular, it's quite blingy and quite, uh, so almost like a lurex, although it isn't because the glitter does come off a little bit. Um, it's a beautiful glittery fabric. Try not to add more bling onto more bling because you can over bling yourself these days. I mean, it was a few years ago, everything went, you know, whatever we wanted to throw at a wedding dress was absolutely fine. Fashions are starting to move into something that's a little bit more pared down. So if you are going for a rather shiny dress, then consider putting accessories with it that tone it down rather than bring the, you bring the shine factor up even more. So I've gone with this with a pearl veil, not something you would necessarily think of to put with a, a blingy dress, but you can see how beautifully it goes. It, they sort of complement each other, and they're not fighting each other. We've taken the belt off because you really don't need the belt and the veil and the headdress and the earrings. You have to sort of look and see what's what and what really goes best with the dress. And that's why we do at Bellissima an accessories appointment, if you wish. So once you've bought your dress, you can come back into store. If your actual dress isn't in yet, you can borrow the sample gown. And we will go through this all with you, not on the day you buy your dress, because it's such a big decision buying your dress that it can sometimes be a little overwhelming to consider all the accessories in that first time. Sometimes just the dress is enough but you're welcome to rebook, come back as an accessories appointment, maybe bring a few people with you that you really trust their opinions and go with a little bit of expert opinion from ourselves. And we will talk you through this process and we'll show you what goes, what doesn't. You can load yourself up and then take the bits off, do whatever you like until you find the perfect look for your dress. So I would highly recommend that girls because it really helps. You don't want to be doing this on the morning of your wedding, trying to work out which bits go and which bits don't. And again, it's not something you want to be doing during your pin fitting because the seamstress that's working on you is only really focused on getting the dress fitting correctly. She's not there to play what we would call dress up or not what they would call dress up. I mean, we would call it extremely important accessorizing, but the seamstresses, they're on a different planet. They're doing something completely different. They will only see that as dressing you up and that's not their, that's not their field of expertise. So we do that downstairs here in the shop give us a call, get yourself booked in and we can do this. And also if you haven't bought your dress from Bellissima, we don't mind, bring the dress in, we can still do this with you. Anyway, I digress, I'm going back to the dress and back to Amelia because her feet are probably killing her standing there, stock still, she's gonna fall over in a minute. So we've got the veil, we agree, this looks really lovely. Now this dress has a secret. It comes with an accessory in itself, which actually needs very little dressing. So I'm gonna lose the veil, and I'm going to show you the option that comes with this dress itself. And here it is. This is the full version of the Phoebe dress. And as you can see, it comes with this absolutely beautiful cape. You don't need a belt because it's got the belt that ties the cape onto the dress. It just finishes the whole outfit off. And how gorgeous is this? So you could even have something like the Phoebe with the cape. Comes in at about £2,000. So again, we're not hugely expensive. I know every penny counts these days. And that's why we're doing this little bit about how many different looks you can get out of one dress because you could have this for your beautiful ceremony and then afterwards you could put on different jewellery, you could put on a belt, you could even put a veil on afterwards if you really want to milk the occasion and have lots of different looks in your photographs. So I just thought I would just show you how different a dress can look. So here we have another dress that I'm going to show you has a few surprises for us. So this is a beautiful dress by Maury Lee. It's a new one in, it's called Gwendolyn and it's 2000, about 2100 and something. So again, a pretty good price for what you get. So you can see this beautiful dress. If you saw this picture on the website, you'd think how beautiful. I love it, I love this neckline. Again, we've done this thing, the hair back, so we've just got a pair of statement earrings. Doesn't need a necklace because you've got the little illusion tool which goes right up to there, so leave that neckline alone. You really don't need to put anything there. 
But you look at it and you think, oh, I love it, but it's got sleeves. Now this dress, as you can see, has got these beautiful, I think they're called bishop sleeves, but they've got a split down the side there as well. So they've got a little bit of ventilation. They're there more for beauty than for actual purpose. But the wonderful thing about this dress is that the sleeves come off. So if you don't like the dress with the sleeves, or the sleeves aren't for you, but you absolutely love the way that the, um, the applique has been placed, you love this beautiful bodice, you love the fact that I'm just gonna, don't move, just shuffle around a little bit, that's it, and I'll show you, it's got the most beautiful plunging back. It's a little bit pinned because it's a bit big for Amelia, so it wouldn't have these little creases here normally, but it's got a beautiful plunging back and the most gorgeous train. If you loved the whole dress, but just didn't like the sleeves, no worries at all. Or if you wanted to have the sleeves on for the ceremony, and off for the evening, then that's no problem either. You can do that. So I'm going to take these off and then I'll show you because they're on little poppers. If you absolutely love the sleeves and you didn't want them taken off, then your seamstress could always sew them on properly if you were worried about the poppers. But believe me, these poppers are really strong. Okay, so now we have the dress without any sleeves and look what a transformation, a completely different look. So you could do day and night, night and day, or just with sleeves or just without sleeves. They certainly aren't an afterthought. They are definitely a part of the style, but the dress works just as beautifully without them. Now, whilst I've got Amelia in this dress, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about veils. Um, again, we would go into depth in an accessories appointment with you, but you can fall into the trap with a dress like this that's quite fancy, even though it hasn't got any frills or anything. Nevertheless, the fabric is quite fancy to think, I don't want to put too much with this dress. I want a veil, but I want something that doesn't really cover it up. And an automatic thing that a lot of girls will go for is a short veil. Now, let me show you. A little short veil. Now, lovely, nothing wrong with it. But if we're being really picky about styling, what you're doing is bringing a lot of attention around the top of the dress. When again, if Amelia just swings round, you're sort of breaking the dress up. It's pretty and there's nothing inherently wrong with it. But if we're looking for what really looks fab in a photo and something that's really dramatic, this isn't it. It will do the job, you've got the veil, you, it's very pretty, you've got your back covered up, but you're sort of bringing the attention back up to the top of the dress. And the attention on this dress, yes, it's the plunging back, but it's also this beautiful train. Now, you would think that you wouldn't want to cover the train up, but let me show you with a long plain veil how this dress absolutely sings. Okay, so I hope you can see the difference. I've put a long single tier veil on with this dress and you can see how it really brings the dress into focus more. Before with the shorter veil with the little twinkly bits, you're sort of fighting with the dress. Yes, it matched, but you're sort of fighting veil dress, dress veil, you don't really know where to look. With something like this, your focus is straight back onto the dress and the bride again. So we've got the longer line, which really follows through with the appliques on the dress. We've got the clean look around the head and the shoulders. When we turn around, now the focus is not on the back of the dress. The focus carries on still onto the train, which is where the beautiful work of this is. And when you then take the veil off, you have the most glorious reveal and you see the dress in all its sparkles. So this just puts everything into soft focus and then afterwards you take the veil off for the evening or for photos later on and you have a real difference but without detracting from the dress in the meantime. And here we have the third dress that I'm going to show you. Um, styling tip, I have to say before I tell you what this dress does, is that um, our lovely Amelia, she's very tall, very beautiful, very statuesque. And she has quite, not to say butt, it's not a butt, she has quite narrow shoulders. And sometimes when she wears a dress, and we've, we've found this when she's been trying lots of dresses on, and you'll find the same thing when you try dresses on, if you have got narrow shoulders, that if the neckline is very wide and the neckline is quite square, the strap actually comes at such a point that it almost falls off your shoulder. Um, if you find that constantly with straps, it's just because the cut of that dress is too wide for your frame. 
So, little handy tip, look at dresses that cut in. We call this a cold shoulder style. And what this actually does is it cuts into the body and actually accentuates your shoulder. So it actually brings your shoulders out and gives you the illusion of having a wider shoulder. If you pair that then with an A-line skirt, you've got like the perfect proportions and really, really easy dress to wear. If you don't feel confident in wearing a slim fitting dress, then something like this, which is what we'd call an, a modified A-line, is a perfect style to go for. But although this dress looks like she's just the perfect princess dress, lovely and A-line with the lovely little shoulder, all sweet and innocent, she absolutely transforms with her accessory. Okay, so Rebecca, because that's the name of the dress, has now gone full princess mode with this beautiful overskirt. So this literally is on a little applique belt. It goes over the dress and just takes her up to the next level. So perfect for the ceremony. You can have this beautiful princess look take that off and you've got the simpler, more modified A-line underneath. And also then you save some of the detail and some of the spectacle of the dress for afterwards. So you're sort of revealing your dress in two stages. And whilst we're on the subject, and this really is like the last little thing for today, I'm talking about veils and matching up the dresses. This particular dress has got a nude overlay. So this little piece here, the, the little overskirt, isn't actually ivory tulle. When you look closely, you can see it's just got like a slight nudie tint to it. So the dress, and that's what makes the lace on this dress really pop, because it isn't on an ivory background. It's got like a, a slightly more nudie, blushy background, and it makes this ivory lace really pop. Now this can sometimes cause a little bit of a confusion when you're matching a veil up as to what you put with the dress. Do you put an ivory veil with the dress, or do you put like a nudie colour? We have a colour here called beige, which is this colour. Now this blends in to this colour and is a much better option when you're thinking of having a long veil than the ivory, because the ivory is now gonna fight with this color, as you can see. And because you've got the overskirt all made of this color, you're then putting an ivory layer over the top and it just doesn't look quite right. It won't look bad in the photographs, but in daylight, it will really notice. And let's face it, although you're gonna have those photos for the rest of your life, you have people at your wedding too, and that's gonna be their sort of memory of you on the day and you want to be as perfect in those photos and in real life. So these tiny little matchy matchy things can really make the difference and make sure that your outfit looks as pulled together in the photos as it does in real life.